First, though, the major financial hit COVID-19 has taken on Central Florida's biggest employer. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The Walt Disney Company announced today its theme parks lost $1.4 billion last quarter. New 6 is Eric Sandoval is live at Disney tonight. And Eric, the parks are closed, but company leaders are offering some hope. Yeah, they are, Lisa. You know, they did not announce when the theme parks here in Orlando may reopen today, but they did announce that Disney in Shanghai will be opening on Monday. This is the team here uh, drafts new policies and procedures for guests and for cast members. When Bob Chapik was named CEO of the Walt Disney Company in February, he says he had no idea what he would be overseeing. This devastating pandemic is like nothing most of us have ever experienced in our lifetime. On Tuesday, he announced Disney's theme parks had lost an estimated $1.4 billion, specifically because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But while U.S. parks remain closed for now, Chapek announced Disneyland Shanghai will reopen on Monday. At less than 30% capacity, he says new rules will be in effect. Those include frequent disinfection of the rides, social distancing throughout the park, and the requirement that everyone must wear a mask. It's going to be masks for guests and employees. Right. Uh, the only characters that will not wear masks are the face characters, and they'll be at a distance from crowds. The Shanghai announcement comes as Orlando tourism leaders plot strategy. Ensuring the consumers remain. Uh, familiar and, uh, and Orlando remains top of mind. This group is bringing their recommendations to the Orange County Economic Recovery Task Force on Wednesday, and Disney is a big part of it. We are confident that we will emerge from this crisis in a strong position. Now, Disney says they're also exploring the idea of what they're calling dated admission tickets, where basically they would assign you a date for you to visit the theme parks, either here in Orlando or at their other locations. Uh, Chapik was also asked about the Disney Cruise Lines today, and he said that that would be the very last travel-related industry that they would put back into play. We are live outside Walt Disney World tonight. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6, back to you. Eric, thank you.